Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Edmonton Centre, followed by Edmonton Beverly Clareview. Thanks very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the Minister of the Environment seems to be seriously suggesting that a leakage of gunk containing chemicals and minerals that are really bad for humans, habitat, fish and animals is mostly okay. So to the Minister, so why is it that when it is the impact on human health, public health, it's all good, but when it comes to the impact on environmental health, silence? Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, there certainly isn't silence. We have been on this uh, file right from day one, making sure, first and foremost, human health is protected and that humans are notified, as I have said, about the drinking water. We are taking samples each and every day, and we continue to do that, and making sure that the habitat, the fish, the wildlife, are taking samples as well. As I said a week ago in the House, Mr. Speaker, at that time, we had only seen one dead fish at that time. We continue to monitor the situation, Mr. Speaker. We will continue to do this into this spring as well. We take human health very serious and we take the environment of the habitat and the fish and wildlife very serious, Mr. Honorable Speaker. Member. Yeah, well, you can tell the public not to drink the water. A bit harder for other species. So back to the same minister. What is the minister's acceptable level of risk when it comes to coal toxins sludging their way along a river? Okay as long as folks don't drink it directly from the plume? Is it okay as long as not too many fish die. What is your acceptable level of risk here? Honourable uh, Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, that's just ridiculous. We have been concerned about this situation from day one, and the highest concentration of contaminants have occurred with regards to where they entered the Plant Creek, enters the river, the Athabasca River. But as a result of the settlement settling, the plume flows the downstream and the concentration is decreasing. We're glad about that, but we are working with the company. Very reason why yesterday we put an environmental protection order in place. We are concerned about this, Mr. Speaker, and we're taking action on this as we have from day one. Honourable Member. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Speaker. Back to the same Minister. Given that in other jurisdictions, any other jurisdiction, a company that released that much crap into a waterway would be immediately charged, but not in Alberta. In Alberta, we're going to educate. So, Minister, can you not educate them with a fine, maybe, or a public whipping, or possibly with charges? Why can you, how long is this going to go on before you make this company pay? And who's going to pay for the cleanup? Honourable Minister. Good question. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And to answer her last question first, uh, the company obviously pays for the cleanup. And Mr. Speaker, we make sure that we have an investigation, as I also said in the House on the first day. The investigation must be held. We make sure that the com company is he companies are held responsible, Mr. Speaker. And we have acted on that right away. We have the environmental protection in order, but that we put that in yesterday, but we have been working with them all the way because they will be held responsible. We are very concerned about this, and as I've said over and over, we'll continue to say we are taking action. We'll continue to take action, and the company will be held responsible once the investigation is complete. 